Now come and worship and bow down and kneel before our Maker. You're our God and we're your flock, the people of your pasture. Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, May the 12th. It's the fourth week in Easter and week three in the Psalm Cycle. And today we celebrate Brother Roger Schutz, who was the prior and the uh, founder of the Taze community in France. The scripture for this service, Psalm 150, and Colossians chapter 3, verse 18, to chapter 4, verse 6. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God Grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. We praise you, O God Most High. We praise you in your sanctuary. Hallelujah. Psalm 150. Hallelujah. We praise you, O God Most High. We praise you in your sanctuary. We praise you in the firmament of your power. And we praise you for your mighty deeds. We praise you according to your excellent greatness. With the sound of trumpet, with the psaltery and the harp, and with the timbrel and the dance. We praise you with stringed instruments and organs, upon the loud cymbals, upon the high-sounding cymbals. Everything that has breath praises you. We praise you, O God Most High. Hallelujah. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, O God Most High. We praise you in your sanctuary. Hallelujah. A reading from Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 3, beginning at verse 18. Wives, be subject to your husbands, as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and never treat them harshly. Children, obey your parents in everything. For this is your acceptable duty in the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, or they may lose heart. Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything, not only while being watched and in order to please them, but wholeheartedly, fearing the Most High. Whatever your task, put yourselves into it, as done for the Lord and not for your masters since you know that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You serve the Lord Christ. For the wrongdoer will be paid back for whatever wrong has been done, and there is no partiality. Masters, treat your slaves justly and fairly, for you know that you also have a master in heaven. Devote yourselves to a prayer, keeping alert in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray for us as well, that God will open to us a door for the word, that we may declare the mystery of Christ for which I am in prison, so that I may reveal it clearly as I should. Conduct yourselves wisely toward outsiders, making the most of the time, and let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer everyone. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. We thank you, dear God, for bringing us safely to the end of this day 
and we thank you for all the blessings that you have granted us. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. That your will may be done in all that we undertake, to the benefit of ourselves and our families and friends, the church, and all people. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Roger and all of your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Comfort your people, O God of Israel. Forgive us our sins and offenses, for we watch for you and wait for you, and we place all our hope in your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.